Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. We're gonna beat the crap out of somebody. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galanti. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Enter the laundry room and prepare for a fight. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Ooh, Make me proud, look kid. Looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Ah. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Oh. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my brother. Ah. Your little cracker going down. Let's go, Vito. Oh, Put these bumps down. back in their place. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. Oh, come on. My grandmama hit me hotter than that. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Oh, yes. Come on, Vito. You gotta do better than that. I know. I'm no really sorry. No bite, just like last time, right, fellas? I'm really sorry. Your little cracker going down. Where are you that one? Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Laying down on a job like always. There you go. Oh, my health is tiny. Can I regenerate some of that, please? No? Okay. Let's go, Vito. Put these bumps back in their place. Oh. Thought I had an opening. Oh, he killed me. Okay. Come on. That was pretty rough. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'm going to take this skinny ass white boy to school. Going to hit him so hard his mama's mama going to feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Your little cracker going down. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Oh, yeah, that's the way that? to do it, my brother. Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. <laughs> Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. No barking, no bite. Just like last time, right, fellas? Your little cracker going down. Probably be the hardest work this bum ever did. Come on, Vito. You gotta do better than that. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running for president. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Nope. 
Don't worry, Vito. You got him right where you want him. Your little crap is going. Oh, man. Finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. It's the conjugal visit. Hey, what's the hold up, Scaletta? I'm right here. My lord. Oh, Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. And a week later. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. I guess I need to invent the self cleaning turlet. This feels like a setup. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. Come on, man, you're killing us. Jesus, you're I'm singing. Really gonna have to clean the second worst thing that happened to me in here. There you go. Make them sparkle. Hey, Hurry it up. Pipe down now. All of us. The two dirty urinals. The the all four of them look dirty to me. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I, I so I totally get it. Okay. Uh, What's oh, the really? matter? Keep cleaning, Are you really? really? Or else. Can I deck him? No problem. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. Looks like they're all still dirty to me.
All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving. All right, Scaletta, get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? Oh, I just had a Bioshock flashback. This is weird. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, oh, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. <laughs> we can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? <laughs> or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Good thing I learned how to fight. <laughs> it's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. This voice is creepy as hell. Ah, hurry up, you oh, nigga! Took one, didn't you? Got too aggressive. It's turning me on. That's disgusting. This could have been so much easier. Oh, this guy's a fighter, huh? Oh, 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 okay. You guys are. Man, really? Right. Take some of that. I like it. Uh, 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 Once more? I mean, if you're gonna keep walking in here with no guard up, I'm gonna keep punching this. Uh, 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 hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? Where's Frank? Felt like Andy Dufresne there just for a minute. Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died oh while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. <laughs> I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. 
Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Oh, again, harder! What is wrong with these people? Oh, God. Nice shot, Mary! <laughs> Me ma used to hit harder than that. This time I'll finish you! I'm not gonna be so gentle this time! I don't think so. Oh. Try again, little man. Got me on the counter. Is that all you've got? Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Okay. Oh. Can I please back the camera up a little bit? Good lord. and burn it. Shit. Okay. <sighs> Up. Okay, that was more than a couple of bones broken. I don't know if Galante's gonna be happy or not with me. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito. What do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on Fla Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. You're 
young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? Well, you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Man becomes a full member or made man. He cannot be murdered by other members without prior approval from the boss of his family. The boss of the Vinci family is Frank. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> okay. Chapter seven. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Yeah, it, it does totally look different. That's kind of cool. I'm supposed to steal a car. Yeah, they do. Oh, I don't have my lock pick. Hang on. Where's the lock pick guy? I think I should go. Oh, I don't need money either. Okay, so. Wait, it's just. Wait, it's right there. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, it's right there. You're in my personal space. Where, what is he? I'm in the personal space. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. Yeah, let's just see my new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. 
You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Lead the way. I guess I'm leading the way. Of course. Got the fins on it. There we go. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what this, happened. Oh, you know? so what you been up? Accelerates. Like we couldn't really talk about much when you visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise planned. <laughs> Don't bother asking. I can't have nice things. things. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for a hit and run driver. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> Out of my way, cover. I got places to be. I think I'm leaving a smoke screen. Man, this, this is a nice In pursuit of a speeding second. vehicle. Time for a second. Oh, goodness gracious. I just had to prove I still can't drive, I guess. What are you trying to kill us? Please, relax, will you? Alright, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I, I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Hey, and about tonight, we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. So, it was a nice looking car, and then I drove it. And that's always the death that every nice looking car. Let's go see our new place. On the top floor, he said, right? Is that a magazine? I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. Okay, we're, we're good. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Is that... What the... And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. Uh, it's got six I sure magic. hope you what? like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? <laughs> now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Mm. Wow, back-to-back -back collectibles. Oh, okay, okay, so now we're just, we're leaving nothing to the imagination anymore. <laughs>